Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I would love to share with you what I created this past weekend for one of my clients. The setting where I was working at was so beautiful. Just wait to see the final result. I will link and list everything that I used in today's video in the description under this video. So go ahead and check it out. Before I let you go, I quickly want to tell you that by many requests, I finally made Amazon storefront page. On that page, you can find anything and everything that I used in my videos. So I linked chairs, I linked frames, all of my florals, some of the home stuff that I love to use around the house. If you click a link in the description under the video, you'll see what I mean and I'm pretty sure it will be very helpful. So without any further ado, let's go. All of my balloon garlands start with prep. I am pre-inflating as many balloons as I could possibly fit into our van, packing everything into plastic bags for easier transportation and checking on my suitcase, making sure that I have everything that I could possibly need for that certain venue spot where my balloon garland will go. I have my balloon inflator, 260s, rubber bands. I have fully stocked apron that I'm using every single time, scissors, anything and everything that I could possibly need. It's better to overpack than underpack. All packed, good night. Loading time, as you can see, my husband's helping me and love these bags. Look how easy this is to transport all of my balloons into the van. Good morning, you guys. I am all packed and ready to go and construct this beautiful thing. Lighting is just perfect. I am dropping off kiddos at my mom's house. She's helping out. She's babysitting them while I am doing this. Um, my husband's picking me up at my parents' house. We took his van, we loaded with balloons and other things that we would need for me to use uh, during that construction. Uh, we need to be there at 8 o'clock. Right now it's 8.39 and the party starts at 11. So we have like an hour, uh, an hour and 30 minutes, an hour 40 minutes to construct the whole thing and leave just right before the party. So I'll take you along. Let's go. Let's make this happen. As soon as we arrived, I was hooked to this place and to this setting. Look how stunning everything looks. During this video, you'll see my husband walking by the camera and getting into the shot quite a few times. So excuse him, he's not as aware of the camera yet as me doing a whole bunch of YouTube videos. So anyways, I am starting to construct my balloon garland base. I am starting with a bigger balloon garland first. I am tying this base to the trunk of the tree in three places, bottom, middle, and very top, making sure that everything holds nice and sturdy and nothing is flopping around. Once I had the base of the balloon garland all constructed and tied to the tree securely and it was a moving and going places, I started working on the shape and fullness of the balloon garland. I used necks of balloons to construct the rest of the balloon garland and I also used some rubber bands. Sometimes necks of balloons would get tangled between all the balloons and it basically impossible to pull them out and use them. Once I have this problem, I use a 260 or rubber bands to help me out in that situation. Once I am hired to do a balloon setup, I am always bringing inflated balloons with me in my car. I do inflate more balloons on a spot as you can see me do it because sometimes you don't know which balloon, what size, what color you would need. So here I am inflating more balloons that I need to build up even more. To attach 24 inch balloons, I actually used a neck from balloons, which is very surprising because 24 inch balloons are usually thicker in latex and they're not as stretchy as 11 inch balloons. So these necks worked out pretty nicely. I was pleasantly surprised. 
I added pink balloons. I wanted to space them out evenly. If not evenly, I wanted to place them aesthetically pleasing to the eye so the eye would go all over the balloon garland and would not stop on one specific pink spot. Once I was almost done making a larger balloon garland, I started working on the smaller balloon garland over the table with beverages. I am building smaller balloon garland like I built my big balloon garland, tying necks of balloons together, playing with shape, adding more balloons. You often ask me how to hang certain balloon garlands. Well, here I used gutters. Be creative, try to look for a nail, gutter, crack, anything that you can put that fishing line through and tie those balloons. Adding finishing touches to my balloon garlands by adding 5 inch of balloons. I love to use 5 inch balloons. They do bring a lot into the balloon garland and they give that extra detail into your setup. Adding a little bit more balloons because I wasn't happy how straight this balloon garland looked. So I added a little bit of a curve. I am using rubber bands to add 5 inch balloons to my garlands. When I'm constructing my balloon garlands or balloon setups, I am always stepping back. I am doing that multiple times during constructions because it helps me see what I need to do, where I need to place next color and where I need to place next cluster of balloons. When constructing balloon setups with necks of balloons, sometimes or once in a while, you'll see gaps between balloons. And even if you move balloons around, that gap won't close. And it doesn't make any sense to add more balloons into that space. So what I'm doing is I am grabbing glue dashes and bringing balloons shut and closing the gap with glue dashes. And finally, here's the final result. this is what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and inspiring if it was you guys like usual don't forget to give the video a thumbs up they always always help more than you think if you have any additional questions leave them in the comment section below i will try my best to help you out if you're new here what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button down below for more ideas and great videos and i hope all of you will have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye